guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to talk about rosehip seed oil, the benefits of it and why I love this oil so, so much. And I think I mentioned this when I did a video with Sherry, I spoke about rosehip seed oil and my DM actually blew up asking me why I love rosehip seed oil so much. Now I have been using rosehip seed oil for couple of years. I introduced that oil to all of my family members as well as my friends and they are all in love with it, okay? The thing with the rosehip seed oil is you have to be extremely patient with this oil. Don't expect wonders within one month, two months because I know so many of my friends have seen uh, a change in their skin after about six months. That's how long it takes with the rosehip seed oil and that is why I think a lot of us tend to lose our patience and think that this oil is just not going to make a difference to our skin. The golden hue of a rosehip seed oil itself just puts me in a very, very happy place. A rosehip seed oil is derived from Rosa Canina Rosebush. Please keep this in mind that a rosehip seed oil is not rose oil. Rose oil is extracted from the petals and a rosehip seed oil is extracted from the seeds and fruits of a rose plant. First time I discovered this oil was from the brand Trilogy and then right after that, The Ordinary. The Ordinary makes a beautiful cold pressed rosehip seed oil and in India I have tried a lot of rosehip seed oil and the one that comes really close to The Ordinary, in fact I won't even say really close, it's almost the same and that is from Juicy Chemistry. Guys, I'm paid zero money to say this right now, okay, but I just wanted you to know that India has finally a rosehip seed oil that has got no fragrance, no essential oils, it's cruelty free, uh, you know, it's free from GMO and pesticides which is extremely important when you buy a good rosehip seed oil because when a rosehip seed oil is produced there's an involvement of different compounds so you have to make sure that you're buying it from a very good reputed brand a brand that actually assures you that from the soil to the bottle is of highest quality okay so there's a lot of care taken and I've seen juicy chemistry do a lot of research and a lot of study when it comes to giving you some very good cold pressed organic oils so that is why I trust juicy chemistry a lot more and every other brand that has produced a rosehip seed oil oil here in India has a has an element of essential oils in it. I love essential oils, there are a few essential oils that I absolutely adore, but when it comes to a rosehip seed oil, I want it potent, I want it organic, I just want it on its own, you know? So I don't want any involvement of an essential oils because it's a carrier oil. A lot of uh, various other essential oils is highly compatible with the rosehip seeds. So that's why you would see a rosehip seed oil with a rosemary extract, and I don't want that. I just want a rosehip on its own. It's beautiful, it's a dry oil, it's compatible for all skin types. It's extremely nourishing, very, very hydrating. So if you have dry skin, it's beautiful. It's even excellent for people who have got eczema. So for dry skin beauties, this oil is also going to do you really a lot of good. It's great for normal and combination skin, obviously, but it's fabulous for even oily skin because it's a dry oil. So what that means is it's super light, uh, it's not greasy, and the skin easily absorbs it. I like to apply rosehip seed oil at night, okay? It's it's my last skincare step. It's my last skincare routine. I just apply that on my face, on my neck, on my decolletage area, nicely massage it. I take my time. I've explained this entire process of taking time when it comes to skincare. Whenever I apply a facial oil, I leave it on for around 15 minutes. 10 to 15 minutes is more than enough because you need that playtime. You know, your skin needs that playtime whenever uh, an oil is applied or any moisturizer. That is my last step and that's about it. For me, this oil is a treatment oil, okay, because it is really in is vitamin A, C, D and E. It's very, very good for wound healing. So I noticed that when after my C-section, uh, you know, when the C-section, uh, my stitches were healing, I started putting a rosehip seed oil over there and I can see that the marks are slowly fading away. I mean, there's still a long way to go and I'm already six months in and I can see a slight difference in its texture as well. I mean, the stitches is looking a little more refined, the skin out there, as well as the marks are also fading away. Like I said, there's a long way to go, but that's not going to stop me from using it. Now this is one oil that you can mix with your moisturizer if you do not want to apply a rosehip seed oil altogether because I know many people are quite offended with the fragrance, okay? It's got a very nutty, woody aroma, something that can put off people. Uh, I know so many do not like the smell of a rosehip seed oil because when they buy it, they assume that it's going to smell of a rose oil. But no guys, it's exactly the opposite. It's got a very unique, different smell which right now my nose is used to it, to be honest. And after application, it stays on, it lingers on, I have to say, 
for around a half an hour or so but after that you're just going to you're going to be okay with it it is one facial oil that actually makes a difference to scars that is on the face i like to apply this directly on my body where i've got that you know c-section marks uh, as well as if there's stretch marks to refine it i like to you know put that in my body lotions uh, three or four drops of it and apply that at the same time it's also fantastic for the scalp yes guys it's very good for your scalp at the same time so i usually take a few drops of it mix it up in my serum and apply that on my scalp or, or on my hair strands when i want to tame that frizz away because why not you know it's very very good it's extremely nourishing on my face i do not mix with any other moisturizer i just let it go directly on the face because it doesn't sting there's no uh, you know it's not aggressive on the skin definitely it just doesn't cause any reaction to my skin probably because my skin is used to it it takes a while i have to say it is not like an active that is going to bring a difference within a month or two this probably you would see a difference within five to six months but i promise you you will they say that it's got this um, potential of acting like a retinol but there's not so much of research done on that so you can't compare it like you can't actually say it is nature's retinol but because it's got vitamin A in it vitamin A is fantastic for even aging skin so it's a beautiful anti-aging oil but it is not a retinol these two work very differently okay so you can't put them in the same category the involvement of unsaturated fatty acid with you know a high abundance of fatty acids like linoleic acid now this oil has got linoleic acid and oleic acid but linoleic acid actually the content of it which is omega-6 is slightly higher so basically it's extremely nourishing for the skin it protects the skin barrier and it also adds an element of antioxidant factor which our skin needs because we tend to lose that as we age the linoleic acid level helps the skin barrier which is essential for ceramide so it really nourishes the skin because it's rich in vitamin c it boosts collagen i mean what more do you need from a facial oil this is definitely an oil that can improve skin texture but just make sure that you patch test with all facial oils especially cold pressed organic ones you need to patch test and see whether it suits your skin because an allergic reaction can happen with any facial oil so please make sure you patch test right over here leave it on for around 24 hours and see whether it reacts to your skin if it doesn't then apply it straight on the face whether it's from Desium which I love or Juicy Chemistry which I also love or any reputed brand that you resonate with just make sure that it is coming in a dark glass amber bottle this is how it should come in this dark amber glass bottle because what happens is uv rays won't penetrate and react with this oil now this oil has a tendency of being slightly unstable so with the reaction it has a tendency of oxidizing so packaging like this in a dark bottle or keeping it in a cool place is extremely vital for its potency so you can even store this in the refrigerator it needs a dark cool place because it has a tendency of oxidizing it can go little rancid quickly you know so you have to be very careful out there it's because an oxidized oil can also cause irritation to your skin so you really don't want that you know you don't want to mess around with the rose seed oil trust me i know for a fact that many skin this can have a potential of photosensitizing the skin so make sure that you apply your spf the next day whether your skin is sensitive or not spf the next day is a must whenever you apply a rose seed oil it's a rich moisturizer so that is why i think many dermatologists and skin experts highly recommend this oil it hydrates it moisturizes it just helps brighten the skin it helps boost collagen formation it, you know it reduces inflammation it also helps reduce hyperpigmentation you know hormonal changes that happens during pregnancy especially for your post pregnancy care this is a fabulous oil that you can use even while you're breastfeeding it's so beautiful because our skin tends to have a lot of patchy areas uh, dark areas because of you know hormone changes many of us suffer from melasma i think this is one oil that you can safely use while you're breastfeeding this has to be the queen of all facial oils so Okay, in my opinion I absolutely love it and that is why I wanted to make this video just so that you guys would be aware of why I'm crazy about a rose hip seed oil yeah I hope you enjoyed watching this video please let me know what other facial oils you'd like me to talk about because you guys know I'm obsessed about facial oils and I can talk about the good bad everything okay the benefits of it and I shall see you very soon in my next one later bye for now